So it's a quick demo of the two ESP32s I've got up and running. So one with the IPS240 screen. I'll switch that on first. And I've got it paired up with a Bluetooth controller. You can see we get connected and can get in game relatively easily. And got a nice good frame rate here. Everything's running smoothly. Uh, Bluetooth working well. So that's quite cool. And if we switch this one off, we can move on to the e paper display. You can see the, the first refresh is a bit slow, uh, but after that, we can get into the game. So, button presses aren't working perfectly. I can't get the threading working. Uh, on the inputs, it crashes the display, but you can see this is a very clear display. Unfortunately, when you move, there's quite a bit of ghosting and blur, but uh, that's quite cool. Uh, I'm very much enamored with this display, but uh, <laughs> I think I had slightly more higher expectations of what it would be able to do. And it's quite interesting when you switch it off, you can get the ghosting afterwards, like it kind of, it doesn't always leave the image there unless you did a full image display. Um, but the, the actual display here, when it's updating, it's a bit of that ghosting you can see. It's still, I'm still impressed with it. It's cool, but yeah, not everything I was hoping for. I think that's actually a bit slow for the game. Uh, so you'll see here we switch off. And because we've been doing partial updates, you see it starts fading. You can see the monster starting to come back in there uh, that we just fought and some other text maybe from the start of the game. So yeah, it's quite interesting and fun. Uh, I've had a ton of fun with this project. It's probably not production ready code, um, but I'm going to give access to it to everyone that's sitting on my GitHub. Uh, I'll accept pull requests if anyone wants to make it cleaner or better. Yeah, fun times. Hope you enjoy.